Naszym gościem jest wybitny altawiolista Paul Corteze, który przyjął zaproszenie Opery i Filharmonii Podlaskiej, aby wykonać wspólnie z kwartetem imienia Aleksandra Tansmana koncert inaugurujący nowy cykl Kamerata Plus. Thank you for having you with, you, with us. It's a great pleasure to be here. Bigger for us. <laughs> Thank you. You perform with many orchestras uh, around the world, but you prefer solo career and especially chamber music. Um, what is special in chamber music uh, for which not only musicians but also listeners can love it? Well, first of all, if one plays ch uh, solo concerts, one is alone. We go around on tour and you're alone in the hotel and you're alone in the restaurant. And it's not very nice uh, life. It's a much nicer life to be with musicians, with uh, colleagues, and to share the experience with, uh, with colleagues. And the music, the repertoire is fantastic. For example, in this program, we're playing two of the great chamber music works, the G minor quart uh, quintet of Mozart. This quintet was played by, originally by a regular string quartet, and Mozart played the second viola in it. And also the Dvorak quintet, was also originally played, meant to be played by a quartet with Dvorak playing second viola. So this interesting thing about the program is that both composers played the second viola part initially. And this is a, shows that it's a social experience also. But uh, what have uh, listeners from it? I think to, sh to see how we, the joy of the musicians making music together, I think that's what's special about chamber music. And that's the attraction for me and the intimacy and the possibility to really make music with four, in this case, with four people. In, in this case, I'm adding on to a fantastic quartet. The Tansman Quartet is excellent. Uh, it sounds like a, a regular everyday quartet, even though they're all playing in the orchestra. And I'm very impressed with their ability to make chamber music on such a high level with their heavy schedule that they have playing in the, in the opera orchestra. You were working hard, but also were laughing a lot yes, together. Yes, yes, have, we have very good contact. It's, uh, there's a chemistry, a very natural chemistry with uh, all, all four of us. <laughs> I think you have to play now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You perform, but you also teach, uh, not only at Conservatory of the Liceum in Barcelona, where you live. Yes. Um, you cooperated with iCulture Orchestra, which is also the, the pride of our artistic director, Mr. Pavel Kotla. Yes, Pavel Kotla and I were there at the beginning of the project together. We had very good contact, and uh, uh, Maestro Kotla was very kind to ask me to come here to, uh, to perform with the uh, Tansman Quartet, which is a wonderful idea. And I'm so happy to be here and to collaborate with uh, such fine musicians. This particular time, I have to say, is a very special feeling with, uh, with the Tansman Quartet. Uh, from the first moment, we understood each other very well and, and they all have a very good sense of humor, which is very important in music also. Uh, during the concert, we will uh, listen to two pieces by Mozart and by Dvořák. Yes. Why? these two composers, these two pieces together? Well, I think what I mentioned before is the main is because this music was written for them, for themselves to play, for the composers to play and to enjoy with their friends. This is a, the basis of a chamber music is for a small chamber, for a small hall, to get together and to just uh, spread the joy of the music making. And this is, the, this is the idea, and this music is very joyful, even though there are minor movements, the Mozart has a G minor uh, tone to it, but there are also some very beautiful, precious, joyful moments. But, and I think that's the whole idea of it, is just to, to, to help people to feel better about themselves and about listening to such great music. You record a lot, uh, but you said, my biggest project uh, is the complete works of Paul Hindemith. Why this composer? I think that uh, not because of the common name. <laughs> no, it could be. Could be that. Actually, I, I, I got to know Hindemith through one of his great symphonic works, Symphonic Metamorphosis, on the theme of Weber. And I didn't even know he played the viola. When I was a young man, I was playing in the youth orchestra in Wisconsin a long time ago when I was 17 years old. And I thought, wow, I love this music. And then I found out he had 12 solo pieces for viola. I recorded all of his pieces in 1995 for his centenary of his birth. That was the reason why it was done then. But, um, they're still, they're still selling so, somewhat. They're not big sales because it's a viola. It's a, not a violin, it's not a piano, but uh, it's a special instrument. And uh, I'm very happy to, to have that, uh, that project done. And I, hopefully I'll find some more projects like that in the future. But uh, right now my main uh, passion is chamber music and teaching chamber music and teaching viola. And this is, um, 
this is what I hope to do as long as I can. And for us it's a pleasure to have you Thank you. Here. My pleasure Thank to be you. here. Thank uh, you. Szanowni Państwo, zapraszamy na koncert. Dziękuję. <laughs>